Whoa. <laughs> Him just getting up after his nap. What's that? Is he like this or no? He's here. That both of them are good. Here, you want to take a quick look at me, and then he's getting, as soon as he gets up, we need to probably go up Whoa. the hill, follow us up there. Look like at you said, 4,600 pounds. 4,600 <laughs> pounds. This guy is. Wow, he's one of the world's oldest Indian rhinos in captivity. The world's oldest. The, the world's oldest Indian rhino in captivity. And what we're going to do, guys, is we're going to give him some food. So let's go do this. Come on, buddy. Come on. So he loves watermelon too. Now in the wild, what's he mostly going to eat? Well, definitely not watermelon. But. Not watermelon. <laughs> he likes it as a treat. Actually, like, actually, just grasses and things. You normally, know. oh, he's like he's waiting patiently. He's like, dude, I'm a rhino and I'm pretty heavy. You better give me that watermelon already. Yeah, in the wild, you know, the, he's, he's they. Great. Look at him. They just eat grass because he'll eat 50 pounds of hay a day here, plus his 25 pounds of grain specialized for him, and his watermelon and, and other treats. Yeah, so this is more of a sweet treat for him, but a lot oh, yeah. of his main diet is going to be grass. You're slobbering all over me, man. You're, he's slobbering all over me. Just don't, <laughs> you don't get squished. Come on, buddy. Come on, buddy. Come on, buddy. Come on. I got some more. I got some more. Got some more. Got some more, buddy. Got some more. Now, you would not want him to step on your foot. <laughs> Definitely. What would that feel like if he did step on my foot? Well, just picture 5,000 pounds dropping on your foot. 5,000 pounds dropping on my foot. And you'd be screaming, please move. Please. Now, some of you guys might be wondering, where's, where's his horn at? Where's his horn at? His horn's right here. And Barry, Barry, you did not take his horn off. Tell us, tell the story how, how he actually, lost his horn. Actually, you know, Henry's 40 years old and it was getting kind of brittle and stuff like that. And he, he was just like banging around one day and, it, and it, you know I could see it was getting chipped on the sides and it finally just came off. So just of, just basically of old age. Oh, yeah basically of old age. It, was, it just got worn and it fell off. Yeah in the wild you know they break off their horns all the time. See you know unfortunately you know they have the poachers because they believe it's a you grind it up a, a rhino horn with different medicines and it cures everything and yeah so you were telling me earlier that, that, that on the black market that's a hundred thousand dollars oh yeah this weighs three pounds 14 and a half ounces right? because what they do it. in the wild is they'll poach them and they will kill them and they'll grind that up and they think they have special medicinal uh, magical power properties kind of stuff to, to yeah, make it's you a cure all for everything from yeah. cancer to whatever which is not that's not true no, but unfortunately due to that poachers have basically you know pushed these guys closer to extinction yeah this is an amazing fact and but, uh but he had his he had his horn until it fell off naturally and they actually grow back because they said about 20 some years ago when he was in san diego it broke off and then it kind of grew back here well, can I really it did. So basically, he had one, and then it broke off, and then it broke off, and then grew back some, and then because they're showing me the one groove where it started again. So it took over 20 years, and they will grow back. He's actually grown more of it back, but you know he's 40 plus years old. So and how old will he live to? Oh well, there's only been six that lived into their 40s, and he's the seventh now. Oh wow! So so he's this he's old age. He's almost like 100 years old for a person right here. Right, Henry. Henry was born May 15th, 1981 in India, when Indian rhinos, there was only 1,500 left in the world. And he's, between his years at San Diego Wildlife Park, Fort Worth, Texas Zoo, and Tanganaki, he sired over 30 offspring and has grandchildren all over the world right now. And now there's actually 3,500 Indian rhinos left in captivity. I mean, in the world, I'm sorry, between captivity and the world. And all, big part of it's because of Henry. And if you Google rhinos of the world, number 106, you'll get Henry. So he story. helped repopulate the population. Oh, yeah. Like I said, when he was born, there was 1,500 left in the world. So, Barry, what are some things that we can do to protect rhinos, man? What can well, we do? Well, I mean, it's really hard to, to do anything because, you know, in the wild, you know, the, the poachers are there. You got to remember, a lot of the poachers that actually do the poaching, are you know starving people and, and they're just trying to they're, they're trying, trying to survive, survive too. yeah they're trying to survive right. and take care of their family so you know obviously Which there's doesn't make it there's the kingpins always who you know who make the, the real money off it but you know but i mean there is programs now which have keeping some of the you know some of the species around they're rebounding some 
the rebound. I mean, you know. It's still going to go extinct? I don't know. You know, 20, 30 years ago, you, 40 years ago, you would have definitely thought so. But, you know, there, there's different programs that make a comeback. It's like the Indian rhino, you know, 1,500, now there's 3,500. So. Is there enough genetic diversity still in the wild for them to, you know? That's the kind of worrisome part. Well, Barry, thank you so much for showing us. Oh, no, man. Henry's, thank you. Yeah, for Henry, bringing him watermelon. Hanging out with us, man. Guys, if you like that video, Wild Charles on Facebook, Wild Charles on YouTube, Wild Charles on Instagram, go hit that follow button, turn on the live alerts, because you never know what kind of cool animal we're going to be. Guys like Henry, go out and follow Carson Springs Wildlife. Um, they're on Instagram, they're on Facebook and go check them out. And if you're anywhere near the Gainesville area, come check out this guy, he's super cool.